God bless you. Today is Vlogmas Day 17. I apologize for not putting up Vlogmas Day 16. These last few days have just been so hectic for Jose and I that I literally don't have a chance to pick up and film and, you know, I really try to stay committed to doing Vlogmas, but it's so easy to just be like, you know what, I'm not going to do it today. Um, and he tells me, you know, just record, record whatever, even if it's a couple minutes, but I don't know, I don't, you know, I think the shortest Vlogmas video that I have up is like five minutes. And even that, I like for them to be long enough, you know? Right now, I am heading home from work, and I have no idea what I have planned. <laughs> um, I have no idea what I have going on until I get home. I do have to make a couple phone calls, and um, I do have to get groceries for dinner so we'll probably do that because I want dinner to be made by the time Jose gets out of work so we'll probably do that and um, yeah so I'm just gonna take y'all along with me before I forget before I go any further I just want to announce the winner from my vlogmas day 10 giveaway the Pan Express gift card has already been chosen and has already been contacted so thank you all to the five of you who entered um, I noticed that that video got I think 170 plus views and only five comments um, I'm not sure if that was because of the typo I'm not sure what happened there um, Jose and I are gonna continue to do these giveaways so just be on the lookout for them and make sure that you're subscribed and make sure that you have that bell turned on so that way you are notified whenever I upload a video and you don't miss out on anything that we have going on so again thank you all to the five who entered um, but the winner has already been contacted and yeah so just stay tuned for future videos because you never know when a giveaway is gonna pop up I'm debating whether or not I want to stop for a coffee. I had a coffee in the morning. And I'm not sure if I want one right now or if I want to get one later. I don't know. We'll see. So I'm just driving right now, heading home. And I will see y'all in a bit. Hey, y'all. I just got home. Man, that drive from work always gets me. It always gets me. Um... I most certainly did pick up a coffee just because I was feeling like I was needing one. Um, I did have one earlier in the morning though, but. And it's so good. <sighs> I love when they make it perfect, like how I ask for it. I'm just home now and I found myself sitting on the couch with my coffee. And I feel like there's so much that I have to do and I am truly just not wanting to do it. I just got home from work. I just want to chill out and I can't. I haven't really been really vocal with a lot of stuff that Jose and I have been going through, but there is a video coming very soon about something very recent that we went through that was really life altering and I will share that with y'all very soon but about a month ago I think a month ago um, I was in a car accident and I I rear-ended somebody um, without going into details you know I, I rear-ended them and it was very scary because when it happened, I was looking where I could turn and in that split second that I looked away, when I brought my head back forward to look to see how the car was in front of me, uh, next thing I knew I was hitting this person. And when it happened, um, when it happened, all I remember doing was screaming and grabbing hold of the wheel. And then after the hit, um, my airbag deployed and uh, I just smelled the smoke and it smelled really bad in the car. 
and I remember like trying to open the windows and um, that wasn't working so I quickly opened the door to let some of the smoke out because it was really bad I couldn't breathe I just started crying because my um, the steering wheel had hit up against my stomach and so like my lower stomach was in a lot of pain and it was it was really scary it was really scary for me thank god that i was by myself thank god that my kids were not in the car with me um you know thank god that i mean i was okay you know i walked away with a sore body um but the front end of my car was smashed smashed in and the fire department deemed it unfit to drive so they towed it away and um it's just been a hassle to get my car back because the insurance that my husband and I have turns out is not a standard insurance so there's just a lot of you know red tape and a lot of paperwork that we have to go through before uh, we can get our car fixed through the insurance um, now this is if we want the insurance to fix the car which you know we pay for full coverage insurance why why shouldn't our insurance fix a car it's just it's just a hassle and I've really been you know just <sighs> not wanting to deal with that but I have to deal with it and that's what I was talking about when I say that I have so much that I have to do today I just have to make some phone calls to the insurance and make sure that the certain paperwork is being processed and stuff like that and um and that's what I mean by we don't have a standard insurance you know typically with like your state farm all state stuff like that you have an insurance agent who handles all that well with our insurance we are our insurance agent so it's just a headache, you know, and it just, it's just a headache, but um, prayerfully we'll get our car back sued, and yeah, so that is one thing that has happened to us, but God is good, God is good, and um, you know, we still praise him, and we still give him honor and glory in the midst of whatever it is that we go through, <laughs> because we are still alive, and that accident could have been a lot worse, and I thank God that it wasn't. So yeah, I'm just gonna drink my coffee. And I got a donut, which, man, I should not be eating donuts, but I cannot have a coffee from Dunkin' without a donut. Like, I just can't do that. Who's with me on that one? Who is with me on that one? When you go to Dunkin' to get your coffee, you gotta have a donut with your coffee. Um, I've been like that since I was younger, but I am planning on making um, a lot of, I want to say like eating habit changes. I am planning on making a lot of changes very soon. So yeah, that's about it. Um, I'm just going to do that and then I will probably just kind of wind down a little bit. Um, before I make those phone calls. I do want to polish my nails. Um, typically, I like to go get acrylics done, but there's, um, I, I, I kind of want to wait till after the new year to get them done again, just because we have some stuff going on, and I don't want to have the acrylics in the way, but, so I'm probably going to do that, and then, yeah, I'll see y'all in a bit. He thinks he's hunting the squirrel. Cause we have a garbage bag outside on our balcony so the squirrels like to come we haven't thrown that bag out technically i forgot about that bag i just remember seeing it right now and so tig tig thinks he's he's like the king of the jungle what's that tig tig what is it what is it tig Oh my gosh, I'm so cold. So I'm in bed. Um, I know I didn't vlog anything else. Um, I totally did not get groceries to make dinner. Did not do my nails. Um, we just had pizza and kind of just relaxed for the rest of the night. So I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. God bless y'all today and always, and I will see you next time. Bye.